Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay, and I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant with a baby girl. Today's video is going to be my 23 week update, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button down below so that you can join my family and stay up to date with my pregnancy. Also give this video a like and comment down below if you're a new subscriber because I love to connect with my subscribers and also support you guys and join your families as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So starting off with baby this week, she is the size of a grapefruit on my app. It says that she's 11.4 inches long and 1.1 pounds, but as of a couple weeks ago, she was measuring a little bit of a head. So I would estimate probably 1.4, 1.5 pounds just because of how she was measuring a couple weeks ago. But she's getting really big. And it says her lungs are starting to produce a substance called surfactant, which helps prep them for breathing air. Um, the, her skin is red and developing veins and she is now able to hear everything and she's starting to recognize my voice which is kind of cool and that's how she will recognize me when she is born by my voice and my heartbeat but for me it says that I might have swollen feet, back aches, Braxton Hicks contractions and bleeding or swollen gums. I am only experiencing back aches sometimes. I don't experience anything else so far on that list. I am still getting heartburn pretty bad and it is hard for me to fall asleep because she kicks the crap out of me when I'm trying to fall asleep. And it's hard for me to breathe a lot of times when I'm sitting up. I have to lay kind of back a little bit to be able to breathe, which is kind of, it's just hard. It's just hard obviously to breathe. I've never, I have asthma, but it's exercise induced. So I've never had it like from walking upstairs and stuff before, which it really gives me compassion for people that have asthma um, and have asthma attacks because obviously being able to breathe is a big thing and we need to be able to breathe. So it's just frustrating when you can't breathe. My appetite is starting to come back a little bit. I can eat a little bit more than I have been able to um, in one sitting. It's still not like it used to be, but it's definitely more than it was. So it's definitely improving, which is nice. I am able to eat chicken as of this week, so that's good. People have been telling me this week that my belly has really popped and started to show in almost everything that I wear, which is kind of cool. I still feel like people don't know that I'm pregnant, so it's kind of feels awkward for me be just because I'm in the awkward phase in my head where I feel like people might just think that I'm gaining weight, but some people obviously know that I'm pregnant, so it's just kind of it's just all in my head. I got my maternity dress for my baby shower. It's super cute. I really like it. I will show you guys that in my baby shower vlog. And one thing that I started doing this week is that we have an Oculus headset, which is virtual reality. And I started doing, it's kind of like Fruit Ninja. It's called Beat Saber um, for my workouts, which is nice because it's very low impact, no jumping, and it's obviously not in your back, you're on your feet. And it gets me sweaty. So it's really nice to have a way to exercise that's fun and not too hard for me on my body right now and I have really enjoyed it. I have learned that my baby is very stubborn because every time she's kicking and I'm trying to take a video of her kicking, she stops kicking, which I know happens to a lot of moms, <laughs> but it's just, I never realized how like frustrating it was to like want a video of her kicking and then she just stops because she's been kicking for 10 minutes. And then I finally whip my phone out and she stops. Oh, another thing that I've been craving is uh, McDonald's Coke. I don't know if it's the carbonation or just McDonald's Coke is superior. If you think differently, you're wrong. Um, but I really have been craving that. And um, the pickles from Texas Roadhouse, the fried pickles and the like pickle wedges that they have, like the really good ones. Those have sounded really good. Um, the other thing I can think to like update you guys on is that we are a week away from viability. If you are not pregnant or if you don't know, viability week is week 24 in pregnancy. And it just is the week that the percentages and if you go into labor early, your baby 
will survive. It's just like a higher percentage of chance of survival, which is super exciting. Um, I'm really excited to get to viability and it's only a week away. I just cannot believe how quick that this pregnancy is going. And yeah, I am really grateful for this experience that I've had to be pregnant and be becoming a mom. It's crazy to me. But yeah, there's not much else that has changed this week. Um, yeah, nothing really that new. It's just updating you guys on what has already happened and if there's anything that changed, which is kind of crazy because I remember there was many things changing every single week in my first trimester and even in the beginning in my second trimester, but not much has changed. But I will show you guys my belly and finish this video up. Thank you guys for coming back to my video and for hitting that red subscribe button down below. It really helps me out and I really appreciate the support. Please hit that like button down below as well if you enjoyed this video and I will know that you're part of my family as well. But thank you for coming back to this video and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.